I was the guy who just didn't go to the doctor. I avoided that at all cost. I'd noticed for a few months extreme thirst and I knew my diet wasn't right. For actually a few years, I'd go for a bus driving physical. They would uh, warn me that I was pre-diabetic, had some blood pressure issues. So I knew I was leading up to something. For a few months, I had some symptoms you read about. It was uh, summertime, July, and a lot of activities going on. And uh, I, I'm usually right in the middle of it, but I just wanted to, to rest. For about six or seven days, it was extreme fatigue. I'm not just tired, I've been tired before, but just wanting to stay in bed. When I say extreme thirst, I mean extreme thirst. And my wife was after me and I said, okay, after 4th of July, all the activities, uh, I'll go the next day. So I went, I even told them there at the window, I said, you're gonna diagnose me with diabetes today. Spent a couple days in the hospital and our crew, Cherokee Nation Health, took good care of me. I wish I could blame somebody or something on this, but, but uh, it was my lack of exercise and my diet that caused the majority of this. Now, fast forward, with the help of Cherokee Nation Health, they've got me on the right path diet-wise, exercise-wise, frequent appointments with the doctors, just uh, sleep better, feel better, eat better, just a different outlook on life. There's been a lot of positive changes that needed to happen anyway get checked out. The sooner that they can find the problem, the sooner they can help you. If I could go back now and talk to myself, of course I would say, go ahead and go get checked out. It'll get you taken care of. You know, I thought I was too busy to go to the doctor, too busy to get diagnosed with something. It's going in the right direction and I'm really proud of the staff there. It makes me feel good as a tribal council person to know in a place where diabetes is so rampant that we've got the staff and the people that take care of our Cherokee people.